So you applied to 500 jobs and you didn't get an interview? You applied to 500 jobs and maybe you got five interviews. Let's talk about it because those numbers are irrelevant. Your numbers as how many jobs you apply to are 100% irrelevant and I'm gonna tell you why and how to improve it in this video. Let's get started. Dramatic, huh? <laughs> a little bit too much? <laughs> now, but for real, listen, hear me out. Before you get out of here, I'm about to give you guys some games. I'm about to give you some gems. You could hear it right now. Gling, 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 gling. This shit is like a casino right now. Okay, that's how many gems I'm about to give you guys right now. Okay, so I have a student who hit me up. He just signed up today uh, to Coding Face, and he was explaining to me on an email, hey, man, I just signed up, and I basically applied to, you know, about 125 jobs, right? Now, you would think that with 125 jobs, shoot, you're going to get a lot of interviews, right? But the truth is that, no, 125 jobs is not even that much, to be honest with you. Now, I'm going to tell you why. Well, the thing is, that when you apply to these jobs, that doesn't mean somebody's actually going through your application, okay? There's a lot of times where you get filtered out. Sometimes in your, I don't know, resume, right? You might not have enough keywords matching the job position and they put filters there to make sure they don't waste their time, right? Because there's people that go in and be like, well, I'm a Python developer, but I'm applying for, I don't know, PHP developer. I have no background in PHP. Guess what? They're trying to filter those people out. Or maybe somebody that goes in and says, well, I've never had any type of experience of development, but hey, I was just doing Uber, hire me for $200,000. Guess what? Companies don't want to waste their time. So there's filters. Every platform has it, and that's what's happening to a lot of you guys. So I'm going to keep it very simple. You apply to 100 jobs. Out of those 100 jobs, you probably got filtered out out of 50 of them. Cool. Now, which is the number that you should really care about? Not the 100 jobs that you apply to, 150, 500, whatever it is, right? What you should care about is how many people actually went to your portfolio. Those are the numbers that you wanna care about. Now this student of, of mine's right, new student in here, shout out to him, goes in and he mentions, hey, by the way, you've been applying to like 125 jobs and out of those 125 jobs, I only got three interviews, right? And with those numbers that I just told you, let's just say out of the 125 jobs that he applied to, he most likely only got seen by 50 to 60 people. And let's go in, let's say 64 people went to his website. So we could say he actually got uh, two interviews right in three weeks which believe it or not in this day and age it's not bad and especially you only apply to 125 jobs right so you got basically two interviews right multiply this by 100 divide this by 64 that gives you the percentage of 3.12 at a three percent percentage rate on your conversion and you might say joe what are you talking about I'm a developer. What are you talking about when you talk about conversion rates and this, this, and that? I know how to code. You're talking to me in a different lingual because some of you guys only worry about click clacking. You got to expand your mind. You got to start thinking of yourself like a business owner. Okay. I'm being honest with you guys. You got to start thinking of yourself like a business owner. Okay. I give you a great example. When Netflix goes in and they have their landing pages, whatever they do here, they're tracking everything that's happening on this page from the mouse movements that people do to when people fill this out, how long are they on this page? You know, which sections they actually get to scroll on, which sections they leave which sections they click on a question here right which question made the person leave you get what I'm saying they're tracking every movement and everything that's happening on this page to optimize the page this is what you have to do with your portfolio there's multiple stages of you getting hired you have the first stage you're trying to get through the actual ATS bots right and the filters that they have through those right? You finally got somebody to look at your portfolio and look at your work. If your portfolio or even your application is good enough, people's going to spend time to go to your portfolio and look at your projects. So you want to keep track of how many people went in there. Most of you guys don't even have Google Analytics or don't even have any type of tracking service on your portfolios, right? So at the end of the day, 
you have no data you have no idea what's going on with your portfolio is it good is it bad am i improving am i doing worse like you have no idea so you actually need to understand everything about the business to actually survive out here especially in this day and age because guess what there's people that know what the hell they're doing and you clearly don't know what the hell you're doing so guess what that person that do know what to do guess what he got the job but you're doing the right thing, which is looking for information on how to improve your chances of getting higher and what is it that you have to do to improve it. Let's go in and take this example. Shout out to John DeLorenzo. I always use his portfolio as an example. Hey, John, what up? Okay, so again, this is John DeLorenzo, student from codingphase.com, right? Guess what, he's an email developer. He has everything in here that is good for him to get hired and get an interview okay he's covering all the skills he has for an email developer right um an about section that's great and then he has the projects really good projects okay but let's say the person was to leave right and they say well okay you need to stop the person and ask them hey what's the likelihood of you giving me an interview now for those of you guys that are like you know little javascript masters and you know you've been using react for whatever reason right <laughs> guess what here's a little test for you guys a little homework right try to create a small application that is just a modal that captures the attention of the person when they're about to leave the page and then from there, what you're going to do is you're gonna create a slider, okay? And this slider is going to go from zero to 100. And then you say, hey, take this slider and move it from left to right. It's the same thing that you've seen on Facebook, right? On, on stories. You can do the same thing for your website, okay? And then ask them, what's the likelihood of you actually getting an interview? And then from there, capture that data. Now you're gonna have information of, how many people landed on your website, okay? And what's the likelihood of them actually interviewing you, okay? So that's one way that you can stop them. And I'll show you guys like how this will work. So this right here is a landing page for this guy. You've probably seen him a million times on YouTube, but guess what? This guy knows what he's doing, okay? Everything about this landing page converts, okay? It gets people to convert. It gives them, you know, everything that they need to know to be able to make a purchase. And this is like 200 pages. It's like, oh my God, it's super long. But guess what? When we're about to leave, guess what pops up? Hey, wait before you go. Let me show you this, okay? And you can also not only show them the slider, but then you can also go in and say, let me create a one minute video, right? Just introducing myself, just something quick. Like, hey, before you leave, I wanna tell you why I'm passionate about this career why i feel like i'm the one for you to actually go in and, and interview for this you know this role right why i'm the perfect guy like a one minute video literally and you could take the kid and put it on youtube put it unlisted and then put it on your website and then now you also get data of how many times people actually played it and how long they played it right guess what that's what's going to go in and make the difference right now again if you want to be lazy, you're just going to go in and build a portfolio and just put it out there. Okay. You want to come out here and, you know, juice up, put on the steroids. This is the steroids. You're taking it to another level. Anybody that sees your portfolio and sees that, hey, this person is really taking their time and really going all out to make sure that we give them an interview. They're going to remember that because no one else is doing that. There's a lot of developers out here that are lazy. Let's just be honest. They're lazy with the design. They're lazy with the projects. Shoot, all they want to do is go on YouTube and watch a tutorial here, how to do a Netflix clone with React. Here, let me spend eight hours on this whenever I can. And then from there, just put that project there. No one actually goes in and builds anything original. No one goes out of their way to go in and capture you know, the person who's going to hire them essentially you get what i'm saying so again for those of you guys that go out of your way and, and implement this to your portfolio this is going to increase your likelihood of getting an interview and just like i always say here on this channel most people get hired after four to five interviews right sometimes a little bit more than that people don't get hired on their first interview you got to be like a rock star basically <laughs> And guess what? Most people is not rock stars. They're just trying to get by and, and just trying to get in. You get what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, 
it's going to take you a couple of interviews for you to really be comfortable and land a position. But how are you going to be able to land a position if you're only getting one interview every month or one interview every two months? Like you have to go in and set up all those checkpoints that you go in and say, well, I got my resume is going through the ATS bots. I got a great landing page for my portfolio. I got great projects, right? Then from there, I'm converting the person to actually interview me. And then from there, I'm going to the interviews and actually killing the interviews, right? I know it sounds like a lot of work, but guess what? Once you get this done and you're in, you're in. You know what I'm saying? Like, yes, you're learning online. You're doing all this stuff. You're not putting four years out of your life to come into this industry. You're putting a couple of weeks, right? A lot of times people come into this game thinking that they could get higher in a month, two months, and they're thinking, hey, by next month, I should be in. It doesn't work like that. Your background might stop you. Your portfolio might stop you. Your resume, because you was cheap, you didn't want to buy a resume template. You, guess what? You got it from Microsoft Word. It stopped you. You gonna say like, there's so many different little things that could stop you, but once you have that checklist, right, then you should be fine and you go through all of them, right? Now, again, guys, if you guys found value in this video, definitely subscribe to the channel. Show me some love in the comment section. I'm also going to go in and plug a couple of videos here, probably here somewhere. I don't know. You'll see it when the video pops up so you can continue learning and getting some more game, um, you know, just knowledge and, and things that has helped my students. And I'm giving it to you guys here for free on this channel, right? You get to pick up a lot of gems now guys i always tell you guys like what we do here on coding face on the youtube channel this is just a small percentage of the cool thing that happens at codingface.com right if you want to come in and you want to learn how to code right and you want to get into the game this is what i get paid for right i don't get paid for to talk on youtube i don't get paid for you know coming in here and creating random courses i get paid to get results okay and we've been doing this for seven years and there's a reason why people follow me and have gone through all of my courses and, and my programs and have gotten results there's a reason why people vouch for me you get what i'm saying it's not random people this is not fiber actors i didn't pay nobody here here man uh, i'm gonna give you you know a million discounts or i'm gonna give you x amount of dollars for you to say something good about the platform no you say if you want to if you don't want to you don't want to you know what i'm saying like but at the end of the day people do it because they appreciate what we've been able to do for them and they enjoy the platform and there's people that have been with us for years since 2017 you know what i'm saying like again helping them from the beginning starting their career to now being business owners you get what i'm saying so Come check out the platform. Take take your time, right? Check it out. Also, too, again, if you're already learning how to code somewhere else and you're doing whatever you got to do, right? This is the last thing that I will say to you guys. At least get the portfolio blueprint, right? This covers all of those things that will make you a better developer as far as your portfolio. Like when someone comes in and they see your portfolio, you don't want to be this guy right with a portfolio that looks trash no one's gonna remember no one's gonna pay attention to right it's easy uh to make and, and people notice that yeah it looks like a beginner guess what you want to have a professional designed right you want to have the right things so on the portfolio the right sections right keeping that person engaged right and if you want to get that definitely go check out the portfolio blueprint it's like the best 20 bucks that you ever gonna spend in your whole career okay it's your boy you already know joe aka i do this aka codingphase.com the one and only i'll see you guys later peace